the nest was a really complex structure. It was tightly woven leaves wrapped around with sticks and roots. There was even some green plastic in amongst the leaves. Yeah, that's the roof there. But that's when our frustrations really began. Over a period of 17 days, we went in six times into the burrow, but we just couldn't penetrate the nest. And then at last, we got the endoscope through the nest wall. We first glimpsed a tiny bit of flesh through the leaves. And then another period of frustration, half an hour trying to get a glimpse of the bill. Oh, it's a bloody horse. Yes. The bill looked huge through the endoscope, but it was really only a centimetre long. The front feet already had claws. And then, to our amazement, we saw there were two babies, not one, crammed into the tiny nest. Thank you. Three weeks later, we went into the burrow again, and we found them immediately. It's incredible. They'd grown enormously. Now they were covered in a thin layer of fur. There were even visitors inside the burrow. It's a tick. I think it was a tick. The ticks are only found on platypus, and already they're feeding on the blood of the young ones. Their bills are now large and very dark. We think the young are now about six or seven weeks old. We're eager to see how the various parts of their body have developed. Their front feet have webbing between the toes. And on their back foot is the beginnings of a spur. The smaller one is female. The larger one has a much bigger spur. It's obviously a male. We called him Bigfoot. The nostrils are huge. We think they're probably used to find the milk patches of the mother. And here, the smaller one is rubbing the tummy of the larger one, as if it's trying to suckle. It was a revealing three hours in the burrow. Tonight, the team planned to go into Shire's burrow once again. So, while Nina tracks Shire to make sure she's out feeding, the team drills a new hole into her nesting chamber. This time, they're installing a tiny remote-controlled camera that will be able to film Shy feeding her young without disturbing her. Illumination comes from miniature infrared lights, which she can't see. And as well as the camera, up sound inside. That's the big one. There, oh. The babies are now about 13 weeks old. Their eyes are open, their bills are fully formed, and their coats have grown thick. While Bigfoot plays with tree roots in the roof of the chamber, the smaller one is perhaps getting ready to take on solid food. Nina warns that Shire is on her way back to the burrow. A 
As she approaches the nesting chamber, she unblocks the earthen plugs which she set there to protect her young. Then she's through into the chamber. Here we go. Within minutes, the eager young are greedily suckling from their mother's milk patches. But the team is about to see behaviour that no one has ever seen before. That is amazing. The young stopped suckling and then began to rub their mother's bill. Are they taking food from her? Perhaps getting a taste of those little animals that they themselves will be eating in the next few weeks? Or are they drinking her saliva? Maybe getting some of the bacteria that will strengthen their immune system. We don't really know what we're seeing in these extraordinary pictures. Soon, Shire's had enough. She busily rebuilds the nest around her young. And then she's gone, leaving a tangle of tails and bills behind her. 